New details to tell you about tonight after investigators say a high school student set off fireworks in the cafeteria, injuring other classmates. This happened inside Klein Forest High School up in northwest Harris County. That's where Channel 2 anchor Keith Garvin joins us live tonight with the newest information. Keith? Bill, the school is still on lockdown tonight as the investigation into exactly what happened continues, trying to see if there are more than one suspect involved. Keep in mind, all of this happened on the very first day that students returned to school from the Christmas break. A police presence remains at Klein Forest High School Tuesday night after a day that sent students, parents, teachers, and faculty into a frenzy. It sounded like gunshots. A male student now in custody after police say he set off an aerial firework inside a container in the school cafeteria. All I seen was smoke, and then when I seen the smoke, it was like, it popped. Avoni Tristan says she was one of the students in the cafeteria so close to the firework when it went off that she wound up with a minor burn on her hand. She describes the moments after the firework went off as chaos. Everybody was screaming and running and acting crazy after that happened. Klein ISD says officers detained the student suspect about three hours after the incident after they reviewed surveillance video. In a message to parents, the district superintendent said the suspect was detained by law enforcement and issued an emergency expulsion in accordance with the student code of conduct. Adding that as the investigation continues, the school district will hold all involved in this incident responsible to the fullest extent of the student code of conduct and the law. Despite the scare, the district's police chief says the campus was evacuated safely, largely because of the safety drills they do each year. As a result, our kids did exactly what they were supposed to do as it, uh, to getting away from the event. Um, our kids were just amazing out here today. And they will be having a full schedule of classes tomorrow. The one difference will be that they will begin school in fifth period. As soon as they show up, they will go to fifth period instead of first period because that is when this incident occurred in fifth period. They want the kids to be able to go back to those classes where they were to retrieve any of their belongings that they left behind today. Reporting live from Klein Forest High School, Keith Garvin, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Keith